Difference between COVID remote and always remote workplaces. Like many companies, we find ourselves suddenly working fully remotely. I have found some of the guidance we've received seems to differ from articles I've read from people in my profession, software engineering, whose companies have always been fully remote. The always remoters seem to emphasize thorough, asynchronous written communication, whereas we are being encouraged instead to do things like have multiple group video chats per day to stay synchronized. My question is should we be pushing back against this guidance, and encouraging a model closer to the always remoters, or is being a COVID remote company fundamentally different in some way, and we should be trying to hold on to as much of the synchronous face-to-face -face model as possible? Or am I just misunderstanding how always remote companies communicate, and their articles describe more of an ideal than what actually goes on day to day? I have been working remotely for the last five years. And I can say that the last week was totally different from any week before. First of all, personally, although I am an experienced remote worker, I was hardly able to focus on my work and I did very little progress during the last week. There are way more chats going on, because of uncertainty, people are stressed and worried. Video conferencing tools do not work as reliable as usual. This is not normal. When you started working remotely last week for the first time, do not think that this is how remote work actually is. It is not. When you feel unproductive then it is not because of working remotely, it is because of the current situation. Second, culture, it highly depends on various factors if remote works for your company and if the employees are productive in a remote setup. Some things can be controlled by the company, providing tools, how to communicate, others depend on the employee and their environment, their home office setup. Usually, it takes several months to build a great, effective remote work environment. Because you need to figure out a lot of things, tools to use, video conferencing, file sharing, how and when to communicate, to read between the line when you are not in the same room and cannot come together easily at a whiteboard or at the water cooler. And then there are the obvious troubles. Usually, I am alone when working remotely. Now my child and my wife around too. They are stressed and worried too and need attention. I have a dedicated office in my home that is well equipped and it took years to come up with its setup. I am pretty sure people starting to work remote out of a sudden do not have such a room in their home. I tried and learn about many different tools during the years. Not all tools work for all environments. There is, for example, not the best tool for conference calls. You need to find the tool that works best for your team size, your internet connection, your type of communication. I use different tools for one-on-ones than for planning sessions or for pair programming. Finding the right tools, to set them up and to learn how to use them takes a lot of time. To answer your question, COVID remote and always remote are totally different because COVID remote workers had no time to prepare, to learn and to adapt. Emo it is still a good idea to look into articles on how always remote companies work and what tools they use. But not to change your whole process but to get ideas about what to try. My advice is to start wherever you are. And work in very small steps forward, communicate a lot with your coworkers. And when you notice something that is not working for you and your team then try to change that, for example, try a different tool the next time or change a process. Then observe if that changed something for the better and repeat. Do not change too much at the same time. Do not try to go full asynchronously from day one. At the moment communication is very important because we are human and we are worried. Take your time.